Well, hello again, and welcome back to the Clyde Guide, Cooking for One, in aid of the organisation CALM, the Campaign Against Living Miserably, which we're very proud to support. Now, today I'm going to make for my lunch the quickest, easiest, tastiest chicken curry you'll ever eat in your life, I promise you. And a very simple ingredients, and it doesn't take many minutes to make, so I'm going to get started right away by chopping up a couple of onions. I'm going to do it the Clyde Guide way. I don't want them too fine. Coarse cut onions is perfect for a curry. And the more the merrier. So I'm just going to chop them up quite coarsely. Always, always cutting away from me. You know my mantra. Never point the blade towards any part of your anatomy, especially your hands. Right. And there's that one. You'll see a detailed way of doing this on the Clyde Guide Top 10 Tips, which I urge you to go and find on YouTube. So that's the onions, coarsely chopped, put my oil and butter back on the heat while I'm going to chop my sweet red pepper. Now there's no heat in this, there's no flavour in the curry uh, in terms of the heat of it, just the beautiful flavour of the sweet pepper. And I'm just going to chop the top off like so and then tug that out with the seed pod straight to the bin. And that's ready to chop. Again, always keep the blade away from you. <laughs> Real quick, doesn't take long, trust me. Right, that's heating up now, so we can scoop those onions in and they'll start to soften. We don't need to cook them till they're golden brown because they're going to stew for a few minutes in any event once we've got the curry sauce going. This whole thing will take about 10 minutes and then you can eat it whenever you're ready. And whatever's left over I shall freeze and it freezes beautifully for use another day. Very little goes to waste in my house, trust me. Right, chop up my sweet red pepper. Including a few seeds, not a problem. There's that. That is the basis started. Now, put some nice black pepper in. And a little bit of dried garlic. This is going to supplement the other ingredients. That was about a teaspoonful, just in case you were wondering. I never measure these things. I use hand and eye in my experience. Now, the next job is to take the chicken off the bone. So this was a chicken that I roasted for the weekend. And uh, we ate some of it. Here's a good tip. Look, I roast it with an onion in the in the cavity. I peel an onion, stick it in the cavity, and it will make the meat beautifully tender. You don't eat it, you throw it away. But it'll make the meat beautifully tender and moist for your roast chicken. Grab a piece of kitchen roll to keep my hands clean. As always, before we started, I thoroughly washed my hands clean down these surfaces and my cutting board and everything is pristine and ready to go. So I'm not going to force you to stay and watch this but I am just going to lift all the meat off the bone and drop it in the vegetables. Okay and this will take me probably 
four or five minutes. So I'll see you in four or five minutes. There's one. You don't want to miss the oysters, they're delicious. Very tender. In the olden days, we boil that carcass and make stock for soups and stews. But nowadays, I'm afraid it tends to go in the bin. Right. Stir this around. This is, this is nearly finished, I promise you. Ten minutes from start to finish. Right. Next, a tin of chopped tomatoes. Essential. Yum. In the recycling. And then finally, if you're expecting me now to start measuring spices and herbs, you're in for a big disappointment. Because somebody's already done it for me. And this is my favorite brand and my favorite flavor. It's called Sharwood's Butter Chicken. You can get it everywhere. There are lots of other good brands as well. This is my favorite. This is tried and tested. And so, rather than try and figure it out yourself, it's not particularly hot and it's not particularly mild. It's medium. Got it. Now, two things. Just literally dump it in and turn it down to simmer. Don't forget the chicken was already cooked and we've just cooked the uh, onions and peppers to the degree that we want. Now, there's lots of goodness left in this jar. And this is the best way to make sure you get it all. A little bit of my beautiful Rioja, not too much, maybe an egg cupful. Put the top on. and shake it up and there is all the goodness and now this can go in the recycling with no waste and that my friends is it oh the, the aroma already is phenomenal and now I'm just going to put this on a very low heat I'm actually going to move it over to this side of the oven Turn it right down. I'm going to put a tripod over that burner so that it doesn't heat it too directly. This is red hot already. The aroma is fantastic. Right, put that on there. Turn that ring off. Put the lid on. And leave it to simmer for 10 minutes. So preparation time and simmering time is 10 minutes. Now I'm going to serve it with pilau rice, which now, as you know, comes in these packages. And I've no idea why you would ever cook rice any other way. You simply, as I'm going to do in a minute, tear the top, pop it in the microwave for two minutes, and you've got perfect pilau rice. Much better than you could ever make for yourself. So come back in 10 minutes, and that's what we'll do. Hello and welcome back. Well now the curry has been on the hob very simmering very gently for about 10 minutes and I'm now going to prepare the rice which as I explained to you comes in this format now in a bag and you simply tear here to let the air out and you pop it in the microwave for two minutes. Mm -hmm. And there it goes. That's all it's going to take. So now I'll get my beautiful warm plate and 
a nice ladle, turn the heat off, and there is a beautiful chicken curry. Mm -mm. So, let's see how much I can manage to eat today, because I'm quite peckish. There we are. I think two and a half ladles for now. And then I'm going to put the rice on. And then the rest of this is going to cool down and uh, I will pop it into Baker foil sealable bags, Ziploc bags as you've seen me do before, and pop it in the freezer and that will then be ready for another occasion. So my two minutes is hopefully nearly up. Yep, no, still a minute to go. Um, but I do want to show you how quick and easy this is to prepare. So the whole preparation, including chopping and slicing and separating the chicken from the bone, took about 10 minutes. And then I let it simmer for 10 minutes to make sure everything was completely warmed and cooked through. And I have to tell you, the aroma is phenomenal. In fact, I think I need a nice red wine to go with this curry. Yes, I'm going to enjoy a glass of Rioja with this. Beautiful. I've just checked, I'm down to my last nine bottles. There we go. Take that out of the microwave, it's piping hot. Tear off the top and then just gently holding the edges so that you don't burn yourself, put the rice on the curry like so and there we are ladies and gentlemen the Clyde Guide 10 minute chicken curry absolutely scrumptious and I can't wait to get it down me. See you next time. Thank you for watching.